How do y'all? I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. Thank you guys so very much. I just wanted to address a quick milestone that we hit as a channel 500 subscribers. That is absolutely insane to me and it is truly an honor to be able to make videos for your entertainment and hopefully you learn a thing or two from my videos. But for anybody who has supported the channel so far, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And for anybody that's new, welcome. I hope you guys like what you watch. And today's video is going to be covering a pair of boots that are probably the most sustainable pair of boots that I know of, at least so far. Today we're going to be going over the ground cover boots. I'm going to be reviewing them. And I'm also going to be talking a lot about sustainability in the second half. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. But without further ado, let's get right into it. first half is going to be a review of the boots, talking about the company itself, and then the second half is going to be me talking about sustainability, why it's good, why it's necessary, and the like. But right off the bat, ground cover and well, ground cover is was started by Avery Ginsberg and Kaylee McKenzie. If you don't know who they are, they are also YouTubers. Avery doesn't really make videos anymore, and I am unaware if Kaylee does. They run two different companies called Stotts Bellet. That is their clothing brand, whereas Ground Cover is basically footwear based as well as they sell bags, which are absolutely amazing. They are two people that have on, that have been into fashion for a very, very long time, and I really just truly respect their style and their take on fashion. I think that it is really inspirational what they do and how they dress themselves. And yeah, my goodness, these boots are really, really, really dope. So the boots came in this bag right here. They do sell this bag separately on their website. It does retail for about 90 bucks, but it is a super cool bag. Definitely super, like you can use this for literally anything. You can just throw it around your shoulder and just call it a day. This is such a good daily bag. I actually was considering buying it if I didn't just buy the boots. But if you buy the boots, the bag does come with it. But the boots themselves, oh my goodness. I am extremely happy to have these in hand. They are so beautiful in person. They are made of a pineapple leather, which I find absolutely interesting. I absolutely love boots and I have way too many boots. And they're, I'm usually a big fan of leather. Um, I love the upkeep of leather. I think it's really cool and they age really well. However, this one right here is completely free of animal products, which I find absolutely fascinating. This was fabricated with com using completely agricultural waste, which really just adds to the sustainability factor when it comes to these boots. And they are just so beautiful. The upper is pineapple leather, which is really interesting. I am fascinated to see how they age over time. And I am also very fascinated to see how exactly to maintain this boot since it is a completely brand new product from a brand new uh, company. But yeah, I got a size 41. They fit me extremely well. I am normally an eight and a half to a nine, more so a true size nine or a European size 42. And this is a 41 and they fit me absolutely perfectly. Uh, it looks like a very robust and rugged shoe. However, there is no like steel toe to it. The upper is extremely soft uh, from the get go. And it definitely, definitely is comfortable right off the bat. There was really no break in period for these. Adding to the comfort, there is also a removable cork insole, which is really cool. This cork insole is meant to mold to your foot as you wear them, which for some people who really like higher end shoes, a lot of times they will have cork insoles, which is definitely a really nice touch. Uh, as well as one more factor that adds to the comfort of these, these boots have a metal shank that is about right here. So what a metal shank does in every boot is that it is a piece of steel or a piece of wood that basically molds to your foot and supports your arch as you wear them. But yeah, it also has a lug sole or a commando sole. A little bit of branding underneath. I'm not sure if you can see that. Has the size underneath as underneath here as well. And this does come with a Goodyear welt so that if you wear them out, 
you definitely can go get them, like take them to a cobbler and get them resold, which adds to, yet again, adds to the sustainability of this shoe. You can reuse it, you can breathe new life into it. This shoe is absolutely amazing, truly. So, I will say that these retailed for $480, and $480 is not cheap. Definitely something that I have to work towards, something that I had to uh, put some work into to get. But these boots, considering how long you can wear them, I've seen on Instagram that people have been really putting them through some stuff that is, these hold up seemingly really, really, really well. And the fact that you can get them resold, the fact that they are sustainable and ethically made is definitely, a, to me, in my eyes, justifies the price point quite a bit, as well as coming with that really cool reusable bag. So Kaylee and Avery put really, put so much time and effort into making these boots that it doesn't surprise me that the retail is 480. Yes, I very highly recommend these boots very, very easily, something that a lot of people can find absolutely essential in their closet. They're very reminiscent of a Doc Martens 1460. They do have eight eyelets, and the top two eyelets are speed, like for speed lacing. They're very easy to take off, and if I can just show you. Basically, they're not actual eyelets, but they are little rivets that you can loop your laces around and take them off extremely easily. These ground cover boots are probably one of the best examples of sustainability being taken into consideration when creating a product. Avery and Kaylee have done an absolutely amazing job at creating them and honestly I cannot recommend them enough. So for a boot, boots are usually very 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 high yield in as far as waste goes and so these boots are really impressive that they are probably some of the first of their kind to both be ethical, sustainable, while still maintaining this really, really cool factor. If you wear them right now, a lot of people wear them in many, many different ways with shorts, jeans, wide leg pants, really anything. They do go with just about any style. They're extremely versatile, but really about the sustainability, to define sustainability, sustainability is the avoidance the avoidance of the depletion of natural resources to maintain ecological balance. So now more than ever, sustainability has thankfully been taken more seriously by the masses and uh, other companies as well. Sustainability is definitely something that a lot of companies have started to kind of think about when they are creating their products. And we now more than ever have the resources to create things with sustainability in mind. And these boots are an absolute testament to that. So sustainability is amazing for the world around us. However, it does come at some slight inconvenience to the consumer sometimes. A lot of times things that are sustainable will be a lot more expensive. Uh, they will be harder to get sometimes because a lot of the brand new companies with sustainability in mind don't really have the resources to really kind of market their products all that well. So you might need to be doing a little bit more research than you normally would compared to companies that are much larger and produce at, at a much larger scale. However, I do think it's absolutely worth it. And traditional methods of producing clothing or really anything have been so focused on efficiency and cost effectiveness that sustainability takes a back burner or is really kept in the back of their mind. I, I'm sure you've all seen how harmful factories can be to the environment and that's kind of the biggest uh, the biggest thing to consider when purchasing things from large companies is how much do you want to buy into that. But from a consumer standpoint, the factory made things, the things that are made a lot cheaper, the things that are just made by larger companies in general, I'm not saying every single large company, but large companies in general, from a consumer standpoint that yields cheaper priced items, which is such a big selling point for people. Usually people, especially people who are going to appreciate these ground cover boots, are people who really only know the nuances of the ground cover boot. But uh, for sustainability's sake, what you and I can do to better yourself in that aspect is to purchase from brands that emphasize sustainability, keep that in mind, in their production process, even if that may yield a higher price point. 
hopefully the companies that are making more sustainable things keep longevity in mind and longevity really just adds to the sustainability factor. Simply buying less clothing is also another way that you can kind of go about it. I know I'm not really the one to talk about buying less, but for longevity, that removes the need to constantly buy clothing, thus buying less into companies that produce larger amounts of waste. So really, realistically, if I had just one pair of combat boots, these ground cover boots would do absolutely amazing and I would not be upset if these were the last boots that I had, honestly. And lastly, buying secondhand or vintage to ensure that clothes that are already made are put to good use and somehow recycled into other projects of yours or simply just wearing them by themselves. Definitely, definitely a way to be sustainable. You're not buying into the larger corporations that are feeding you things that are made very cheaply, maybe unethically, and really it, it does do, it does help, uh, I should say. So I definitely think it's worth your time to do your own research and find brands that you support not only for their product, but for their intentions and environmental impact. But yeah, I mean, really, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I appreciate your time. Once again, thank you so very much for 500 subscribers. It truly, truly blows my mind. But until the next video, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.